Hey everybody, welcome back to Organic Chemistry. Now we're going to do the oxidative cleavage. And this is a pretty quick topic, but it's the starting point for our roadmap problems. Okay, so we always start by learning about this separately, but this is actually a piece of a bigger, um, uh, a piece of a bigger puzzle. Okay, and you'll see what I mean as we get to the next video after this uh, sequence and we do some practice, we'll get to the roadmap problems and that's where we really use this the most. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I want to point out is what ozonolysis is. Now ozonolysis is the actual oxidation of an alkene or an alkyne and breaking it apart. So what we do is we take a molecule, let's say A, and we use some sort of oxidation technique, which I'll talk about, and we get them into fragments. We get like uh, B, let's say, plus C. We break this apart. And the one thing that's common amongst all these reactions is that we make carbonyls, double bond O's. So A becomes two different pieces, and both of them are carbonyl groups. Okay? So what we're going to see is that we'll learn about what this is, but we'll also learn that we can look at the end and connect these two back together because of the, the unique characteristic that I'm going to show you now. So for example, wherever there's a double bond or a triple bond, you break completely apart and it becomes double bond O's. So the fact that this is a double bond O and this is a double bond O means that they must have been double bond to each other as an alkene to begin. Okay? So that's what we're going to see right now. Now the first one, we'll talk A about strong oxidizers. Now what they are is there's different degrees of strength of how what, how strong of an oxidation will occur. Now when you have a strong oxidizer, what I'm talking about are things like KMNO4 with heat, temperature. Now remember in the alkene chapter we learned about KMNO4 cold and we said it adds OHs to both double bond carbons, right? Like OSO4, osmium tetroxide. But if it's hot, then it goes through what's called ozonolysis. It goes through a, an oxidative cleavage reaction. Now, here's the rule, and then you'll see how to apply it. But let me just list it out here for you right now. If there's one H, it becomes carboxylic acid. You, you're not going to know what this means right now, but you will in a moment. 2H, it becomes CO2. And then if there's no H, no H, it becomes C double bond O. Now this is the master chart that you need to know and I'm going to show you how it works right now. Okay? So another thing I want to point out actually is that um, a CO2, CO2 equals an inorganic molecule. So it's not considered organic. So if I ever say, uh, you know, you have this fragment this is a fragment and it's inorganic that means it's probably CO2 because this is considered to be not organic okay it's inorganic that's C double bond O twice okay alright now here's how it works let's say we have an alkene like this and we were to treat it let me just do it like that we were to treat this with KMNO4 and I could write hot or I could write temperature, just a symbol, it doesn't matter. KMNO4. Now, what this tells me, and this, th usually this is, by the way, this, let me just do it the way, probably, so you'll see it like that, and then it's in water, okay? So, this is, to, and there might be other reagents. All you care about is this right here, and that right there. That's it. So you have heat, and you have potassium permanganate. What happens, and we don't care how. Don't worry about how this happens. It doesn't matter the mechanism. But what happens is we break any double bond that we find and we separate them into two pieces. So this is, let's say, the A side and the B side. So the A side looks like that and the B side looks like that. Here's A and here's B. Now, we use our rule. The double bond carbon, this red carbon right there, right there, all right, and this is the blue carbon right here, right here, we ask ourselves, how many H's does this carbon have? And it has no H's. It has two carbons, right? So if it has no H, you just make it double bond O. Okay? So this has no H. 
this one has one H, right? So this carbon in blue has one H right here. Remember, all carbon should have four bonds. So if it's less than four bonds, it has to have H's to fill it up. This has one H. So the rule is for one H, it becomes carboxylic acid. So this right here becomes double bond O, OH. And those are my two fragments. You see that? So this is what happens when you have a strong oxidizer like KMnO4 that's hot and it's heated up. You break it apart completely. Now initially the OH is add on just like it did cold, but then the heat allows for this further transformation. All right. So if I gave you these two products, you would know the red and the blue carbons connect together and become an alkene because that's the rule here. Alkenes break apart and that's what's happening. Okay, now let's say I have a system. Here's another example. Let's say I have a system like this and I break it. Let's say it's like that and I do KMNO4 hot. Okay, so I'm going to break this double bond right there. And if I trace it out, notice something interesting. So up here, when you have a, a straight chain, you get two products, right? Let's just keep in mind what I'm saying here. You get A and B. But here, when I break this apart, if this is, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are still connected together. The only thing that we did is we took our eraser, let's say I have the double bond here, right? I took my eraser and I erased this right there. And now, I put a double bond O, well, I use my rules, 1H, double bond O, OH, no H's, double bond O. So this is now a straight chain. I, I made it look like a ring, but it's really a straight chain, right? This is just a straight chain of six carbons, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, where one's double bond O, and then five's double bond O, one has an OH, and that's the same thing, right? So all we did is we broke apart our ring and we made this which I then translated is equal to that right they're the same thing so notice something that because it was a ring I have one product formed you'll see why this is important in our next video series when we do roadmaps okay so if I have one product it, it could have been a ring that was opened up into a straight chain see that Whereas if I have two products, it was probably a straight chain that broke apart into two different things. Okay. Now let me give you another example. Let's say I have a more complicated system. Let's say I have a five-membered ring, like that. Then I have something over here, double bond there. And let's say I have something like this, double bond here. Okay? And this is our system. And I use KMNO4 and heat. All right, this is a lot more complicated, but you'll see it's not that bad. Once you get, you have to have a pattern, right? A comfort of how to do this. So let's number this out. Let's say this is, um, let's call the ring one, and then here's two, three, four, here's five, okay? Now, let's call this, uh, let's say this is A, B, and C, and this is um, H, and I. I don't know. I'm just trying to show you some sort of pattern, right? That's all we're doing. So, what's going to happen here is I'm going to break there and there and there. And I'm going to have all these different pieces. So, let's try to deal with the easy stuff first. Now, what's easy? The ones that are on the end, the alkenes on the end. So, I know that I is going to be a double bond O twice. Why? Because I has two H's, right? This is a two H piece. So it becomes CO2. Now I and C become that. So we're going to have two of these because one for C and one for I. Now let's deal with this piece in here. So if I trace out starting from H, let's say I draw it in um, green. So here's my pieces for H right there. And then it goes this way. And then it goes like that. Right? You see that? It goes there. And then it goes like that. So that's a pretty big piece. Let's trace that out like I just showed you. So it looks like that. I'm just looking at the drawing and I'm tracing it out. That's it right here. <music>